at sports club Boughton Boys this weekend. Two teams of 10-year-olds battle for the ball. Competitiveness is natural, essential even in sport. But six months ago at the end of an under-17s game here on this pitch, it went too far. Volunteer linesman Richard Neuenhausen was knocked to the ground and kicked repeatedly in the head by a large group of teenage players. He died of his injuries 24 hours later. His widow and sons were at court on Monday to see the killers jailed for a total of 17 years. It's never enough, never. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, we hope that uh, it uh, be never forgot uh, because uh, uh, it needs to uh, end now, just now enough. This has gone to the very nature of what sport is all about and also cast a very uncomfortable spotlight on social values in this traditionally liberal country. In the aftermath of Richard Neuenhausen's death, tens of thousands of people expressed their outrage by staging dignified silent marches. But there is also an undeniable element of ethnic tension here too. The guilty teenagers are all Moroccan Dutch, a reality which anthropologists say must be addressed intelligently. Because not all Moroccan Dutch youth are involved. There are a lot of very well educated Moroccan persons in, in Dutch society and they don't want to, to, to be hassled with all these incidents as well. But on the other hand, not observing these hassles, uh, doing nothing about it, that's also no solution. The fear is that after the initial shock and sorrow subsided, deeper attitudes have remained the same. They talk about uh, respect, uh, behave and, and how to behave, but at the end I don't think anything has changed. And, and that is maybe because it's not an issue of uh, football, it's an issue of society. Um, we believe that it's a society problem and not a football problem. The Bouton Boys Club is still the place for young players to improve their skills, gather with friends and enjoy sport. But where Richard Neuenhausen once ran the line, a banner reads, without respect, there is no football. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, the Netherlands.